So today I'm gonna do just a random vlog. I have nothing special planned at all, so it might not be that exciting, but I'm gonna show you my day anyway. So, starting off with my MTS screens. I have this every single morning. I've said it before, I love it, and it actually does taste good. So I would highly, highly recommend it. I'm also making some pumpkin pancakes, which I'll kind of show you. So just half a cup of pumpkin, scoop of protein powder. I am using MTS apple pie. This is probably my favorite for baking right now. I really love the birthday cake and peanut butter cookies and cream is amazing. But this just bakes really great because it goes with a lot of flavors. You know, it goes with pumpkin, banana, apple, all kinds of stuff. So a scoop of that. We're gonna do some egg, some milk, some cinnamon, and some baking powder. And that's kind of about it. Um, so I'm gonna mix these up as I kind of chat here with you, but I'm still recovering from the Arnold. I get so exhausted traveling and being in the car and I don't know, I just can't do it anymore. But it was super duper fun and it made me even more motivated to gain weight. Um, I thought I would maybe do the opposite, you know, seeing all the bikini people and stuff, but actually it was kind of weird because whenever I was like next to a lot of them, I felt small and weak and I don't want to feel that way so it is motivating me to continue to gain some weight and it was really fun because the whole weekend I did not track I did not bring a scale I didn't worry about it I ate a good bit of gas food or gas station junk food um, but it was fun not worrying about it so I don't know if I overate under ate but it was two days and in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna make that much difference. So my ultimate goal is to eat like that all the time. Not eat at gas stations all the time, but just eat more intuitively and just not worry about it so much because food is one thing that you should not worry or stress about. And I would love to get to the point where I don't track macros at all, I don't worry about them and just eat normally. So. That is the goal. So here is my pancake stuff all mixed up. I apologize, the autofocus on this camera is nice, but sometimes it like gets all crazy. So I apologize if I get all blurry and it tries to focus on my microwave or something. I don't know, I haven't figured it all out yet. But that is that. What else is going on? I'm not doing a weigh-in this week, so I will do one in two weeks. I said I was doing one every month now instead of every two weeks just to kind of get my mind a break and that has been helpful but I do work today yes I'm still working at Starbucks um, I did still quit but they are very short staffed so I said I would help out through March a little bit so I'm doing one day this week and like two days next week and that's not that big of a deal that's kind of about it I think so I am going to finish making these pancakes. It's very hard to talk and measure at the same time. All right, so these are probably my ugliest pancakes ever, but I got distracted and they kind of look a mess, but they're still gonna taste good. There's Annabelle's breakfast. There's Annabelle saying good morning. Are you eating some puffs? Yes, she loves puffs and she's pretty much mastered getting them actually into her mouth now. So we're gonna enjoy our breakfast and then we'll see you when it's snack time. So I just made some super fun cookies that I'm gonna have for a snack. I make these all the time. You just take any flavor Quest bar, cut it into three pieces, bake it for like six or seven minutes and then press a Hershey Kiss in the middle. So I use the Vanilla Almond Quest Bar, and then these are the Carrot Cake Hershey Kisses, and they are delicious. It's a somewhat healthier cookie anyways. I mean, there's still Hershey Kisses in there, but, you know, live a little. And I was trying to get this new fun mug in the picture to do like an Easter-y photo, but it was just too big, so I'm just gonna drink my coffee out of it. But I love big, fun mugs. I'm starting to kind of collect mugs. I got this one at Marshall's for only $5, which is super amazing. I'll show you guys real quick. Over here, this is like where I keep all my Instagram-y blogging stuff. So I have like different uh, placemats and plates and some fancy little mugs. I actually got these at Crate and Barrel since they're wintry. They were only 
two dollars so I got two of those those will be fun for next year and oh I have to show you guys these these are some super fun utensils forget the name of the company but I will link it down below so this one says trust me nobody has to know and then I got two of these that says peanut butter is the glue that holds this body together love that and this one is my favorite there we go don't fork with me and I just love them I think they are super cute and they're really fun to put in Instagram posts so I'm going to finish snapping one or two pictures of these fun little cookies and then I'm going to enjoy them with a cup of coffee. So Annabelle's new favorite toy is the cat door she was just playing with and then the garbage can because she sees her reflection and she will just like sit over here and crack up at herself. She thinks it's hilarious. Are you funny? Who is that? Sadie no trying to teach Sadie not to lick the baby. Ha, huh, say don't lick me. I'm gonna go through that door. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna come out and she's gonna be like stuck in there. So she is entertaining herself, practicing her modeling pose there. So as I chase her around the house, I'm eating a peanut butter sandwich. Super boring, but we had this, I call this the heel, the like end piece. And it always seems to get thrown away because there's like the heel and then one other piece left and nobody wants to eat that piece. But I really like that piece, so I made myself a very boring peanut butter sandwich. It has salted caramel peanut butter on it. And I'm just continuing to chase this thing around the house. Huh. Yeah, she's getting very, very mobile and it's making my life more fun, but also a little more challenging, we'll say ready to go to work. We're gonna take this one to grandma's. I'm only working for four hours, so from two to six. But as always, I'm bringing some snacks, so I figured I would show you. I don't know if you guys care or not, but maybe you're looking for snack ideas when you go to work. I don't know. I'm gonna show you anyways. So I am taking, first of all, a wheat bagel. These are like the generic brand at Shop and Save, and they're actually like my favorite bagel right now. So sometimes that generic brand is good, and it's much cheaper. So that wheat bagel, and then I'm bringing this single serving packet of the D's Naturals fluff butter. This stuff's amazing. It's the chocolate fudge cake batter. The vanilla maple is even better. I have not tried the s'mores, and I think it's like a tiramisu, but it's really good. So I will put that on that bagel if Annabelle doesn't eat it first. She's getting her first tooth, so she is putting everything in her mouth. I'm also taking a packet of peanut butter crackers just because they're quick and easy and I really like the cheese and peanut butter ones which I never used to because I thought they were weird like cheese and peanut butter but it really goes it really works um some cereal these are little Quaker oat yogurt drizzle I showed them a long long time ago and I finally opened the box and started eating them and they are delicious um I may or may not eat these at work I don't know and then the best Easter candy ever. These are crazy beans. Let me grab the bag real quick and show you. Here's what they are. They are Starburst crazy beans. They are so good. Jim found them at Chop and Save the other day and bought me three bags and I will stock up and like have enough for the year because they are the best jelly bean. So each one is like a dual flavor. So there's Grape Aid, Peach Palooza, Tropical Cherry Splash, Raisin Watermelon, Banana Berry Blast, and Strappleberry. And they are all delicious and I love them. So I will definitely eat those. Um, and anytime I show you snacks that I like take to work or take somewhere, 99% of the time if I don't eat it all at work, then I just eat when I come home. So I kind of like put it into my fitness pal and count that as calories for the day. And if I eat it at work, great. If I eat it at home, whatever so we're gonna go get ready go to grandma's and i'm gonna go make some coffee and maybe i'll bring home something fun to taste and drink again because i only have three more days of free starbucks and then i'll have to pay for coffee again i know I'm from work and annabelle and jim were already playing and annabelle already got her jammies on she goes to bed at like 6 30. say hi she has a bottle at 6 30. she goes to bed around seven yeah you're right 
Okay, and I, like I said, I was gonna bring home something, so I brought home, it's already melty, the cotton candy frappuccino, which is kind of on their secret menu, but it's really just the vanilla bean frappuccino with raspberry added to it. You wanna hear something really sad? No. Okay. Starbucks is going to change the raspberry syrup and make it not red anymore. So they're gonna make it clear, like take out the artificial stuff. So then the cotton candy frappuccino is gonna be white. I thought that's sad. That's kind of lame though. I feel like so people, people get it because it's so pretty in pink. Anyway, let's try it. I don't know what that is, but she's gonna get it. It's a uh, cookie. Mm, it's actually very good. It's kind of melty, but mm. that's really good. That's really good. So yeah, order a cotton candy frappuccino, and if people don't know what you're talking about, which they should, just say vanilla bean, add raspberry. Is it like 9,000 calories in here? Uh, I made it with non-fat milk. Is it sugar-free syrup? No. It's pretty sugary and not good for you. But, okay, you wanna play with the bag? No, that'd be loud. And then I brought a butterfly cookie because... So this is after the bag. Animals and babies trying to take everything. A butterfly cookie because that seems to go fun with a bright pink drink. And I heard these are really bad, but yeah, they don't look great. It doesn't. Well, it looks, they, they look. It good. looks pretty. Oh, the icing just like is falling off. It just like <laughs> fell off. Cookie <laughs> icing. That's not a good sign. That's not supposed to happen. That, well, that's not good. I have not high hopes for this. Mm. <laughs> the cookie's like burnt. The icing's like. Waxy. And the cookie is really dry and crumbly. Starbucks. This That's not good at all. It's one of the worst cookies I've ever had. Okay, so do not, do not waste your money on the butterfly cookie. Like, do you want this? No. I'm not eating this. This is going in the garbage. Um, the cotton candy frappuccino is good. So. That's delicious. That is that. I think the vlog is plenty long. Me and Annabelle and Jim are gonna go play. And then Annabelle's gonna go to bed. Jim and I are gonna watch ER and eat snacks like we always do. Super exciting. So, once again, thanks for watching. Don't mind Sadie's tail wagging. Say bye, Sadie. She's getting the crumbs. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.